Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where uh, a whole lot of nothing is happening right now. But that'll change, eventually. Ish. Yeah, mostly ish. Construction complete. I'm also almost done rebuilding my armies. Then we're going to get them transferring over this way. I have a bunch of defensive platforms to build yet, us though. New wisdom. And a fleet command limit increase. That's always nice. So what that ends up meaning... Is that we can do that. Maybe like that. For now. Which of course means that I need 4,469 alloys to fully reinforce my fleet. That's a little spooky. Considering right now I'm only making 20 a month. And that's with a buy order in for them. It's only for five, but even so. What is the energy credit cost of... About 40,000 energy credits is what it would cost to straight up buy that many alloys. It's a little ridiculous. Luckily, we have a Forge World coming online soon. Ish. And by that, I mean in... a little under a year. Oh, hello. The uh, enig enigmatic observers found out that I had a cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species, and they want a copy of it. Sure. I don't have a problem with that. I'm always shocked that I still don't have the tech for uh, producing or for increasing food production on a planet for the building for that. Seems weird. Also weird, the fact that my uh, colony is just sitting on 5k resources in an open building slot. I suppose it must be waiting for a pop to grow? Maybe. That won't be too much longer, if so. You need to get colonizing. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and start the construction of the colony ship. Or not. Need to purchase additional consumer goods. Every time. There we go. Okay, let's sell a couple of minerals. We are spreading our faith to a new world and purchase additional consumer goods. For now, anyway. I feel like we should just build a second civilian industry on the agri world. I mean, we're doing okay for food. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Except now I'm suddenly losing... Have no, I'm not losing world. energy credits. Okay. That's good. There we go. Now we have a civilian industry coming in. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. And shield tech. I'm okay with this. I like how we're still on tech one armor. Hey, what? <laughs> right? I don't even. I mean, you don't really need anything else, I guess. I guess? It'd be nice to, be, to have higher tech armor, though. Yeah, but you have your... You have your, uh, whatever it's called. My Titan? Yeah. Yeah. But that won't last forever. I mean, it probably will last forever. But it's not going to uh, continue to be as powerful all the time. Yeah. It's losing power every day that goes by. Relatively speaking. Hmm. That's a problem. Okay. How am I going to deal with this? I need to sell some alloys, I think. That'll do the trick. Yeah, that ended up being necessary. Unfortunate. Construction complete. Okay, so Dorfil Prime is going to be complete. a forge world. Construction complete. Okay. So. Construction complete. My economy is in an interesting situation, and by that I mean I've been having to constantly juggle buying and selling various different things until my colonies come online, because my colonies were all so delayed. My economy is basically me just stockpiling stuff so that I can get more stuff to stockpile more stuff. That's how it's best to do it, but when I had no settleable worlds at the beginning. I mean, I only have four worlds settled. Yeah, but they've been settled. They're established. Not really. One of them only has 14. The other only has three. Yeah. Well, you also have a lot more stations to collect things like minerals and energy credits. True. That's okay. I'm doing fine now. Somehow. Yeah, and I just have a whole lot of solar panels built up. Gotta love hive mines. Right. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that starbase was doing anything but costing me energy credits. So I'll get rid of the one in Xania. Weir kind of replaced that in an odd sort of way. Okay. Atmir Prime will be complete in 2269, so at the same time my truce is up. Nice. I mean, that's not necessarily nice, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. How strong is Weir currently? 3k? Compared to 4.1k? Interesting. We can upgrade the shields of the defense platforms, as well as the lasers. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Anomaly found. That's not 45 at all. This says it, that the platform will be upgraded for 45.1. I click on it, and it takes away like 150 alloys. I feel like that's bugged. 150 alloys just to upgrade the shields on my defensive platforms? That's a little extreme. Our ships have been improved. Well, how big of a jump is it? Is it just one... It's from two to three. Yeah, that does sound a little... Like, it only costs 291 to make them. Well, that's not actually right either. Wow. Stellaris really wants me to do wormhole travel as my But I refuse. I guess that that is actually right. What are you building here? Upgrading planetary administration? Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. I wonder if the automation removes things that are no longer necessary, like I have two civilian industries on my agro world right now, but once I have my industrial world online, I wonder if it's going to remove those and replace them with something else. I, I kind of do too. I might have to manually remove them. But it's an interesting query. Strength of 449? That can't be their whole fleet. Construction complete. And their fleet power well, is inferior to ours. From their true fleet size of 240. That sounds right.
Mm -hmm. System survey complete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, I'll be a little surprised if I redeclare this war immediately, but uh, we'll see. Subscribe for more, and we will see you all next time.